What's up everyone? So I know you guys haven't seen me for a really long time. I kind of wanted to just talk about a new style of content that I want to make. Over the past five years, I used to make these Monday recap videos. You know, after five years of making it, only a thousand people would watch it. I took a break for a while to see, you know, what I want to create and what I want to do. And, you know, working with the guys, Harry, James, and Joe, we decided that the podcast would be the next avenue that we'd really focus on. Now, if people aren't going to watch it, I'd rather make content that I want I want to be surrounded by traders that are better than me. I want to be surrounded by traders that know more than me. I have no ego. I'm humble enough to want to learn. And again, we've been kind of just focusing on the podcast, bringing on a bunch of new traders. But in addition to that, I want to kind of make this new style of content video as well, which is going to be these recaps. So I'm starting off today with an Alex recap. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to show you my charts, my entries, my exits, my PL, and my thought process behind the trade, right? So let's first start with the PL. Today, I made about $16,500, which is a great, great, great day, right? So let's get into it. So let's start with DFLI. If you look at the daily chart here, right? It's kind of like a beaten down daily chart. It kind of just keeps going down, going down, going down. But what I found on this stock was that there was dilution on the name, right? They had warrants at $2 a share. They had 10 million shares to sell at $2. So it's no surprise that $2 gave it some resistance. So what I did on this stock is I kept it very, very simple. I waited for the death candle, right? So I let it extend, let it extend, let it extend, let it extend, and I waited for the death candle. After I saw the death candle, that's where I took my first initial entry. I took my first initial entry after it topped out with a stop above the high of the day. So I took a starter on the death candle, and as it broke under VWAP, and as it looked like bounces were failing, I added to the winner, right? I added to the winner. As we got closer to the market open, as it was staying under VWAP, I added, I added, and when it broke down, this key support here, right? Right? When it broke this key support of 175, I was like, all right, I'm going to add. Now, as the market opened, I had two potential plans. My plan was either A, add on the VWAP rejection, or B, add on the $2 rejection because that's where the warrants were. So I didn't really get the VWAP rejection, didn't really get the $2 rejection. So I just covered on the dip and moved on, right? And as you guys know, my trading ends at 10.30 a.m. So I just wanted to take the money and run the hell out of there. So this is a really picture perfect, stress-free trade that yielded to about $7,000 for me, which is great, right? Now let's go to CING. CING, let's look at the daily chart, right? So same thing on CING, kind of a very weak beaten down daily chart, not much of an edge here, but what I saw is the same thing as DFLI. This stock didn't have warrants, but what they would do is they had a registration withdrawal. So that means that they got rid of their offering, but chances are if they got rid of their offering, they're probably gonna do another offering, right? Right? So my thought process was wait for a rejection candle on elevated volume. So yes, there was a small rejection candle here, but this was too early in the move, right? It just had its move and it was too early and it kind of started to break out. But what I noticed here was that the stock tried to push over the high of the day. It had a rejection candle on elevated volume. So after it had a rejection candle on elevated volume, I took a starter with a stop at the high of the day, okay? With a stop at the high of the day. Now what I did is when it broke under view app I added to the winner so if you see I'm always waiting for a rejection signal to enter if you look at DFLI I saw a rejection signal and then I enter CING I saw a rejection signal and I enter and as previous resistance is supposed to act as support and didn't act as support I just covered at the next support, which I saw was around the 115 area. In hindsight, I thought that it would support here and then bounce back to VWAP and I'd be able to get another short, but I just covered and the stock collapsed without me. So this was a good $5,000 trade. Now. Let's talk about Rivian. So if you guys have been watching Rivian, you can see that it's a pretty extended chart from 13 to $26 in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. In less than two weeks, this stock has doubled, right? This is not some small cap stock. This is a multi-billion dollar company that just doubled, right? This has been on watch for me to be shorting it. But something that uh, is key is yesterday, it had a really, really big death candle, but it ended up reclaiming and breaking above the pre market high of the day. And as you guys know, we have a rule that if a stock breaks above the pre market high of the day, it is no longer a short. So the stock broke above pre market high of the day and just tanked, right? It tanked after it stopped out all the shorts 
and then it tanked after. So my thought process today was, okay, we're gonna try to bounce towards this $26 resistance. If we try to bounce towards that level, then I'll look to short it. But if we open up weak and the bounce fails, then I'm gonna short it. So what happened was we opened up a little weak, I shorted the bounce. I added a little bit into resistance, right? Into resistance here, I added a little bit. And as we had a small death candle, I added a little bit more. And then as we had that same push and rejection, I added more. Now, as we're breaking the low of the day and long are starting to stop out i sized up a little bit and started to cover now the best thing i did was cover here and i know a lot of people may be asking how'd you know to cover there what'd you see what'd you see and i saw that the stock was trying to break down in the 2430s but there was just big bid after big bid after big bid 10,000 share bid 20,000 share bid so i was like wait a second stock is weak they're trying to bounce it let me just get out so i got out and then my plan was very simple again wait for the view app projection and short i had a little bit of fomo so i got in a little bit early but i covered it pretty quickly which was nice Nice. Same thing, VWAP projection cover. And then I was like, you know what? I don't really want to mess around with this stock anymore. And I left it alone and it bounced nearly a dollar a share. So those are my three trades of the day, yielding to about $16,500. Let me know if you guys like this type of video. Let me know if you guys want me to make more trade recap videos. I'm not going to make them every Monday or every Tuesday. I'm going to make them when I feel like making them because you guys have not been watching the content. Only a thousand people have been watching it. So if more people start watching it, I may do it more regularly. So let me know if you guys like this type of content. Let me know if this is what you're looking for. Let me know what you guys think about the podcast. Additionally, we have now offered a live trading service. So if you guys are interested in watching me trade live every single day, it is currently available, right? So if you go to myinvestingclub.com slash live trading, you'll be able to watch me trade live. So let me actually show you guys what that looks like. Here's all the information you need. I have a quick video here explaining everything. But yeah, if you guys are interested in live Live trading with me we now offer it appreciate you guys watching this if you guys are interested in this type of content please leave a comment i need you guys to comment on this video to let me know that this is the type of content that you want to see let me know that these are the videos that you guys want to watch because after five years of making content guys if no one is going to watch it i'm going to stop making it and if no one watches this then enjoy you guys got your first and last trade recap video so thank you guys and i'll see you guys on the next video